Hi, I'm Dr. Rich Blon, a host of the Healthy Stress Doctor podcast. In this, the 14th edition of the podcast, I'm going to address the issue of values-based New Year's resolutions. Most New Year's resolutions fail because they're based on guilt or some other negative emotion, and they're based on what other people value and not what you value. So if you go into making a resolution to please someone else and to meet their expectations, or because you feel guilty about something, uh, those kind of resolutions are doomed to fail. I think you can improve your chance of succeeding in, new, in your New Year's resolutions if you base them on your values, what's important to you. And I think even better is to kind of think of resolutions as goals, to, you know, to resolve to change something, to resolve to improve something. Resolutions are, are kind of lofty and immeasurable, but goals are more concrete because they're usually framed out with measurable objectives. If you've been following this podcast and reading my books and my materials, you'll see that anytime I talk about a goal, it's always followed up with a measurable objective. And that basically answers the question, who will do how much of what by when? So if you think of a resolution as a goal that has measurable objectives attached to it, uh, you can see we have a better chance of meeting it. And the other thing about resolutions that I think will improve your uh, chances of success in meeting them is if you don't just focus on the negative and on problems. No one says a New Year's resolution has to be uh, about a problem, to resolve a problem. A New Year's resolution could be to improve something you're already doing well, to just bring it up a notch. So think about that when you set your resolutions. Maybe you're pretty happy with certain things and you just want to bring them up to the next level. So here are five quick tips to improve the success of your New Year's resolution, setting values-based New Year's re resolutions. One is do some values clarification activity and kind of clarify what is important to you, what you truly value. And again, go back to previous podcasts and I have a lot of advice on how to do values clarification activities. So identify a value and then basically set a goal for that value. For example, one of the things I value is being out in nature, being outdoors. So a goal I might set is to be outdoors more often by hiking in nature in 2011. Now, a reasonable, measurable objective for that goal would be, you know, to set something, some kind of accomplishment for the first quarter, the second quarter, and then the last quarter of the year. So I might say uh, for one objective, by the end of April, I will have taken at least three hikes outdoors, either in the snow or in the cold weather. And then for a second objective, I might say by the end of August, I will have taken three hikes in the proximity of water, maybe along a lake or a stream or the ocean, places where I really love. And then for the last uh, quarter, you might say by the end of December, I will have hiked at least three times in the fall and observed the changing leaves. So each of those objectives has a who, will do how much of what, by when. The who is me, the how much is how many hikes, and uh, of what hiking, by when. And then I, I identify the quarter that I'll have done that in. As you're doing this, the fourth step is to tell yourself to, uh, that you are willing to suffer whatever it's going to take to get you outdoors, you know, 12 times over the course of the year. So you would say to yourself an act-based statement like, I am willing to accept whatever it is in the service of whatever the value is. So for me, it would be I'm willing to accept whatever it takes to get outdoors 12 times uh, and hike in the great outdoors because I value nature. And then the fifth tip is to really expect that people are going to try and stand in your way of accomplishing this goal. Um, whether it's family, friends, your employer, people are always going to try and throw up obstacles. They're either going to ask you to do something on a day you have a hike schedule, or they're going to try and put pressure on you not to go because they want you to do something for them, or your boss is going to ask you to work. So again, you have to tell yourself, I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to accept that I'm not going to make a little extra money. I'm willing to accept that I might annoy my family members uh, by doing this in the service of what I value is getting outdoors. So I think if you follow those five tips, uh, you'll set values-based New Year's resolutions that are measurable 
and that you have a pretty good chance of succeeding and accomplishing. So good luck, uh, and I wish you all the best in 2011. Bye.